Hi everyone, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I am making a card with the new Beachy Christmas, the Ho Ho Holidays, Toboggan Together, Furry and Bright, the Stitched Hillside dies, and the Stitched Waves dies. I also end up using the On the Beach and Pool Party stamp sets. I didn't know at the time. And um, the Scalloped Slimline with Hearts Portrait dies to make my slimline card. As always, I am going to start my card by doing some coloring. I stamped all of my images onto some Strathmore vellum surface mixed media paper and heat set the images and now I'm going to use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers to do some coloring. Um, for the reindeers I use all of the same colors. I use a mustard color, a light beige color, a brown, and a uh, mid-brown. And then, of course, I do pink cheeks. I use a pink cadmium and pale orange to um, blend out the cheeks. I, I'm only going to color a few of the reindeer uh, because, um, like I said, I use all the same colors. And three of them are basically exactly the same. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And as you can see, I didn't show the stamp set, but I did use pool party images. And, oh, I also used <laughs> Ugly and Bright. This reindeer is from Ugly and Bright. And uh, I had the cute idea to put this little guy in the inner tube from Pool Party so that he is swimming <laughs> in the beach. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so <laughs> after I colored uh, my reindeer, I'm going to color the rainbow, of course. I color rainbow for the big inner tube and rainbow for the beach ball. And I, I color all of my images. 90% of the time I start with the darkest color and then medium color and then lightest color. And then I bring it all out with my water, my damp water brush. Uh, for reds and or um, yellows, sometimes oranges, I use a brown as my darkest color to add some shading. Uh, most of the time for the other colors, I just use different shades of the same color. But I felt for the yellows, it was good to use a little bit of a light brown to add the shading. And um, of course, I had to add pink cheeks to the sun <laughs> as well. I did stamp that Santa. I don't end up coloring him or using him on this card, uh, but he was too cute. And of course, I thought I was going to use him at first, you know, because Santa and the reindeer were going to have a beach day. But um, it ended up being just a reindeer game type of card. So <laughs> uh, when I colored the palm tree, I, it's a little bit off screen and I'm so sorry. I just used a dark green, a light green, and like a, I don't want to say a neon green, but a very yellow green to draw out all the colors. And for the uh, Christmas lights, I just went with the same colors I used for their cheeks. Uh, which was that pink cadmium and pale orange color. Uh, the presents are just going to be various shades of reds and pinks. Uh, same color combinations that I used for my rainbowing. That's a word now and a verb. <laughs> same colors that I used for um, in the little segments of the inner tube when I colored that in the rainbow colors. So the Red is a dark brown, and then the red, and then the little orangey color. The pink is a bright pink with the pale orange, and then the third present is the same colors as the Christmas lights. And because the presents were all pinks and reds, I decided to make the surfboard greens. And I did like a mint green on the outside and the same color greens as the palm trees in the middle. Uh, I'm also coloring off camera. <laughs> I am so sorry, the sandcastle with Christmas lights, but I don't end up using it. Uh, I, I decided, I knew I was going to make a slimline card when I started, but I did not account, 
I I guess I thought my slimline card was going to be infinity length because there's a lot of images here and I just did not have the space <laughs> in my card. Anyway, I die cut out my uh, slimline base from some 80 pound white card stock from Lawn Fawn. And now I'm thinking, how am I going to make this beachy? So I do not have the slimline dies, although there are slimline dies for borders. I don't have them. So I decided to use my stitched wave dies um, die cut from another panel of my of uh, the slimline scallop shape. So it had the same edging and I'm just going to go through and do some, uh, die cutting. This one obviously doesn't reach the end, which is fine. I'm just going to take another, uh, wave, line it up, die cut it. And then I have my perfect little beachy wave. I think it looks great. And I'm going to use the stitched hillsides for the, uh, sandy shore. And I'm going to use the same spare piece of the slimline base. And I'm just going to uh, die cut my sandy shore. And as you can tell, I'm using what is already die cut as kind of a guide on how I wanted you know, it to look when I die cut it out. So I die cut out the sandy shore. And there we go, sandy shore waves. Now I'm going to add my ink blending. And I sped this up super, super, super fast because it was a lot of repetitiveness. But for the waves, I used um, mm -hmm, Blueprint Sketch, Mermaid Lagoon, Peacock Feathers, and Salvaged Patina. And I started with the darkest color on the bottom. And then, you know, <laughs> I didn't mean to say, you know. And then I worked my way through to the lighter color with the lighter color being towards the shore because I felt that's how oceans are. Darker, the farther out you go, lighter, the closer in. <laughs> the sandy shore, I always do um, fossilized amber and vintage photo. So I just am ink blending that really loosely. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to splatter some of the same color fossilized amber vintage photo and white acrylic ink on top so that it looks sandy. And I just uh, splatter some water and use a dry brush to pick up all the color and splatter it, rinse it off in between each color. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the white acrylic ink and set that aside to dry. And then I decided to start ink blending the sky. First, I had to kind of lay out where my images were gonna go because I knew I wanted the sun to have a glow. So I had to figure out where the sun was going to go on my card. And it's going to go in the top left corner. <laughs> and I'm just gonna have the sun kind of fade out into a sunsetty beach party. And so the darkest part of my card is abandoned coral and picked raspberry with dried marigold kind of blending into the squeezed lemonade. And um, it looks pretty good. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because I knew I was going to use uh, stencils over this ink blending and that would cover up uh, really any kind of imperfections. I was just kind of trying to smooth out as best I could the transition between the yellow and the oranges. And so as you can see, I'm just um, using the same colors just with more pressure in between the um, stencil and the paper. And it just adds a tone on tone look. And I thought, wouldn't it be perfect <laughs> to have a snowy, subtle tone on tone background with a beach scene? <laughs> and these um, snowflake background stencils are perfect because uh, they help you line it up here. I was just like trying to figure out where it was. I lined up my previous stencil, put the new one on top and then took out the one on the bottom and it was easy to line up these stencils. And I did not use any snowflakes in the sun area because I knew that's where the sun was going to go and I didn't need it there. So now I'm just gonna put my card together uh, using some tape runner for the sandy shore and the waves. And look, it's already a tropical Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and here is basically what the card is going to end up looking like. I have uh, foam tape on the sun 
and I took off the backing paper, added some lawn fawn glue, and then uh, some of these images are popped up with foam tape, some are glued directly on. I like to have a little mix of both. <laughs> I thought this little reindeer flying in the sky uh, would be adorable as he was trying to uh, add lights <laughs> to the palm tree because the palm tree is, in this scene, their Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> the presents are going to go under it. There's going to be a little beach ball under their tree. And I think that's just so cute. Uh, even hardworking reindeer need a vacation sometimes. I used uh, <laughs> this little guy. I wanted him to be walking out of the water to the presents. And, uh, of course, there's the little reindeer in the inner tube. <laughs> He's so cute. And... Once everything is glued down, I remembered, ding, don't forget, <laughs> you don't have a sentiment. <laughs> I'm going to do some heat embossing with the sentiment from Toboggan Together on black licorice cardstock and the white embossing powder from Lawn Fawn. And just going to heat emboss that, and then I end up fussy cutting around it. And I'm going to place it with foam tape right under that little reindeer with the inner tube. <laughs> and then the card is basically almost done. At, at this point, I was just like loving the bright colors. It's a lot going on. It's very busy, but I still, I think it's really cute and a super fun change from the traditional type of cards with greens and reds. <laughs> and no beaches. So I'm just using a card base I have. I'm going to attach it with glue and tape runner because I glue and adhese, <laughs> adhese, it's another word, all the things. And uh, lastly, I'm going to use this Lawn Fawn Chunky Glitter and attach it to some areas on my card to add some Christmas sparkle, like the sun, <laughs> the sun's rays, the little hat, and the surfing reindeer, the present bows, the beach ball. I think I put some on the inner tube. Yep, I sure do. And uh, I just put a little bit of glue on the images, sprinkled on the chunky glitter, and used a very dry paintbrush to wick away any extra glitter. And my card is done. <laughs> I think the glitter adds the perfect touch of festiveness. And I think this is so cute. Thank you so much for joining me today. And be sure to check out the card on the Lawn Fawn blog. Bye!